climate change is having devastating effects on wildlife and plants. Scientists claim that by 2050, we might lose more than 25% species. Let's see some examples. Sundarbans is the home of the Royal Bengal Tiger and is being threatened by the rising sea levels and every year the sea is eroding the land and couple of islands have already vanished. All this is leading to shrinking habitat for the tigers to live, hunt and breed. The tiger population as a result is steadily decreasing every year. Mangroves not only help us against tsunami but also aid the tigers in hunting for prey. But these wonderful plants are losing and finding it difficult to sustain themselves due to rising sea levels. The effect of climate change is forcing the polar bears towards extinction. They are unable to find food as the number of seals are decreasing and bears have to swim long distances for hunting and they drown in the process. Their homes, which are icy caves, are also collapsing due to heat, leading to loss of shelter for the cubs. Similarly, many animals living in the Arctic are moving upwards to look for food as their food has become scarce in their home regions. Birds can fly long distances and adapt to changes better. But unfortunately, they are being affected equally. For example, scientists studying North American tree swallow have recorded that they are laying eggs on an average nine days before, showing an early onset of spring and rise in temperature. The plants are also showing changes in behavior by blooming earlier than expected. The geraniums are blooming well in advance of the normal season and farmers are seen plowing their fields in the areas of Greenland which had been barren for centuries. Climate change is affecting the sea quality. Scientists have observed that fish are moving towards cooler waters of the northern sea. These changes are having global effects on our environment and let's see how they are affecting the human population.